So I'm up on the roof trying to build the systems box and the skylight vent box on the south side of the roof here, but I'm having a hard time because there's flying ants everywhere. They're mating. Are they? Oh my god, yeah. you're right. Oh, they're on me. They're all over they're me. They're having sex on you. Oh boy. Uh, you can see here, this is the systems box. Um, I have opted to split the box in a 45. You can see here, there is a 45 degree angle that splits the lid of the box and the base of the box. The reason I'm doing that is because the uh, systems, the inverter and the load center uh, need to have 30 inches of clearance. They need to be mounted on a vertical wall. So they're going to be mounted here and they need 30 inches of clearance going this way towards the north. Unfortunately our box is not that big. So the original box just had a lid that opened like this. A uh, new code is being enforced or code, code that's been around for a while is now being enforced here. So what I'm doing is I'm making the whole lid this side and the top. The north facing side and the top. It's gonna, all going to open together. Thus creating infinite clearance for this equipment. I'm trying to build the lid as light as possible. That's why I took some uh, two by four stock and ripped it down to one and a half by two inches. And I'm doing this uh, crisscross pattern here with the bracing uh, to keep it light and strong. And this actually keeps it from racking. Racking is if uh, is the thing coming out of square, like if it was to like uh, become a little bit of parallelogram. This keeps it from doing that. It keeps it nice and strong and rigid. I also have a divider right here because on this side is the battery box and that has to be separate from the system as equipment. Um, holy crap, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, this is crazy. <laughs> ah, I'm being attacked. Now the batteries need to keep, be kept separate. Now you can see here there's a divider in the center of the box. That's to separate the systems, the inverter and the load center, from the batteries. The reason being is that the batteries actually create hydrogen gas and the inverter does create a small spark. So we want to create that, we want to have that hydrogen gas completely isolated from the inverter here. The battery side of the box is also vented with a soffit. The lid is going to come over the, the base a little bit and there's going to be some venting in there so the hydrogen gas gets vented away. We're also going to put some uh, EPDM rubber on the base of the battery side that we're not going to do on the system side. Uh, that is in case you spill some water while you're ref uh, topping off the batteries with distilled water uh, that that water doesn't drip into the house. <laughs> 